Welcome to Full Plate. Just like the song says, I'm so glad you're here. I'm Rebecca Rainier, and this is my favorite bartender. Is that bad that I have a favorite bartender? <laughs> no, it's a good thing. <laughs> John Jacobs here is to tell us what to do for the holidays. And I always try to bring you in here during the holidays because that is the time where we celebrate a little bit, do something a little bit different than just popping open a Miller Lite. <laughs> Right, so Which I'm... is fine. <laughs> <laughs> but what do you have for us today? What should we be serving or give us some creative ideas? Well, the first thing that I have is a chocolate peppermint martini. Um, it has the chocolate, the peppermint, all those holiday flavors. And uh, it's pretty easy to make. So okay. you just start over here. Yep, and you've already got the glass lined. What yeah. did you have? What'd you do there? What I did was I did some Mellow Whip, and then I crushed up some uh, candy canes and mm -hmm. rinsed it around the glass. So the best way to get it to set up is to put it in the freezer, though. Okay. You do that. that looks adorable. <laughs> Adorbs. Okay, so we start with. So I have a double chocolate vodka right here, and I'm going to use about an ounce and a half. We're going to okay. make it a little boozy and get that chocolate going. Get the party started. That's right. <laughs> Now this is uh, rumpel mints, but you can use a uh, peppermint sh uh, schnapps. This is 100 proof, so it's pretty pretty potent. A little bit goes Don't a long way. Don't stand near an open <laughs> flame. Not with this stuff. <laughs> and then the last thing is, I want to keep it uh, creamy and clear, so I'm going to use white Godiva instead of the chocolate Godiva. Okay. You know, instead of making it uh, muddy and dark. There. Nice, huh? And you're shaking it. What's the difference between shaken and stirred? <laughs> well, the difference between shaken and stirred, if it's going to remain uh, all booze, mm -hmm. uh, you're going to stir it. Mm -hmm. But if it has cream, egg, or a juice in it, you want to go ahead and shake it to up. To really get it mixed. Yeah, to get it mixed. Okay. So. Ooh, pretty. It is. It's so lovely. It's not milk. No. <laughs> but you could pretend. No one has to know. It's a little short. <laughs> I'm going to amp this up just a little bit more here. Watch out, world. <laughs> a little bit short. You want it to be near the top so you can do your garnish or Close whatever? Close to the top, okay. but you don't want it to, uh, to go over the glass. Just so the surface tension is your friend. That's right. <laughs> Science, people. <laughs> Oh, beautiful. right about there. Okay. Uh, good to the last drop. <laughs> that's right. Get it all in there. Okay, so that's your first. That's my first. So. Okay, put that there. All right, so that's our beautiful chocolate, white chocolate peppermint martini. Is that what you called it? What did you say? It, yeah, it's a chocolate peppermint martini. You okay. Can, yeah. All right, so our next one, this, your, 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 the ladies might really enjoy that Definitely. one. Definitely. Yeah, okay. I think they're going to love this one too. Okay. This is a winter kiss. This is kind of a, a take on a godchild, which is vodka, amaretto, and cream. But we're going to use a few different flavors okay. here. So I'm going to take the vanilla vodka. Vanilla vodka this time. Yeah, vanilla vodka. Amaretto di Serrano. Instead of using a domestic, we're going to use the good stuff here. No. That, I always feel cool when I see that commercial, like if I would order that. <laughs> To twist the bottle That's right, away. right, yeah. right. Twist the lid open. Just to give that a little mix. And then I'm going to use rum chata. And uh, rum chata has a lot of cinnamon and vanilla mm -hmm. flavors to it. A little bit of rice. It's uh, inspired by horchata, a classic Mexican drink. And so we're just going to float a little bit of that on the top here. Looking good. See, that's the thing between what you would do and what I would do. Yours all look beautiful. <laughs> you know what they really do? They look beautiful. Okay, so this is called? That's a, that's a winter kiss. A winter kiss. Mm -hmm. So lovely. All right. Okay. Last, one's, last one, or this one right here is, uh, is more for the guys. It's a little more potent drink here. So this is called a horse's neck. It's a... Uh, <laughs> It's named after the garnish. It's a funny name, but it's a great drink uh, and very easy to make. So we're going to start with bitters at the bottom of the glass here. Wow, you smell that right away when you open it. Very aromatic. Yeah. Smell that. Wow. And this is uh, Fee Brothers bitter, so it's a little bit different than the Angostura. There's a lot more uh, cinnamon in the nose. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. See, I love, I love alcohol talk. <laughs> a lot more cinnamon in the nose. 
I'm keeping that in there. And when I'm at a party, I'm gonna just bust that out. Like, just, I just talk like that. That's how cool I am. And then uh, a good portion of bourbon here. So you put the uh, bourbon was next, okay. Yep, bitters and then the bourbon. And what I'm using here is ginger beer. It's a, it's a strong ginger ale. It's not alcoholic, but okay. you can really taste the ginger. Uh -huh. You know, like a lot of them are, are very light mm -hmm. and, and not that pronounced. This will go well with the bourbon and the bitters. Okay. And this is more manly. Yeah. A little bit. But the ladies could enjoy it too. Because <laughs> I, I tend to gravitate not to too sweet, because if it's too sweet, I drink too much of it. You know what I mean? I, it's like, oh, it's like having, I don't know what, a candy or something. Oh yeah, and you can you can overindulge <laughs> quite easily. <laughs> quite, quite. Okay, so this, so that right the horse's there. neck, is that the what you're saying? The horse's neck, right. <laughs> and then we have a fourth? Yeah. Okay, gonna... okay. One more, the horse's neck, the holiday, ki holiday kiss? Winter, Winter yeah. kiss. Winter kiss. Okay. Yeah, and then this last one is uh, uh, is a nice little sipper, you know, something that you put in a champagne glass mm -hmm. and, and you carry around at a party. So mm -hmm. I'm going to use uh, Laird's Apple Jack, but you can use any kind of cognac or, or brandy okay. in this. Just going to sweeten it with a little bit of simple syrup. And simple syrup is very easy to make. It's one part sugar, one part water, and you reduce it down. So okay. there's nothing... Nothing too complicated no. there, but there is a lot of there's a lot of math that goes on with what you do. I believe there is a little bit of apple juice, and then I'm just going to take some apple, apple slices in there. Yeah, uh -huh. In here, I'm going to grab some ice. See, you'll have your fruit serving in this one. Just yeah. knock that off your Weight Watcher list. Have fruit. <laughs> going to do. Okay. Oh, and then we've got our fruit. Yeah. So what you don't want to do, Rebecca, is mm -hmm. you don't want to put the champagne in here. Because then you it put the champagne in, it'll, it'll explode. It'll be like one of those YouTube <laughs> experiments in the middle of your party. That's right. And this one is called again? Well, and uh, this is just uh, an apple sparkler. Apple sparkler. I love it. Use a little bit of the Chandon, but you could use a Prosecco. Beautiful. That is a toaster right there for sure. And the apple garnish in there. All right, we've got all four of these cocktails on fullplate.tv. Each recipe so that you can have a sparkling, glittering, and slightly tipsy holiday party. <laughs> All right, thanks so much, John. When we come back, we're going to have Mary Helen Dara show us how to make lamb. Lamb. All right, stay with us. That looks beautiful.